My blog and my YouTube channel have always been about what I'm interested in, what I'm building, what I'm making, things I've fixed around the house. And a few months ago, I got a 3D printer. And this is it right here. It's, it's a very basic beginner 3D printer. And I assumed 3D printers were $2,000. And this one was $200. Um, years ago, they were all $2,000. And you got a box of parts and you had to put it together and had to tweak everything and to try to get it to print. And nowadays, there's lots more companies and they're getting cheaper. They're, they're more entry level 3D printers, which is what this is. And this was actually, I think, the most popular 3D printer on Amazon this year because it's cheap and basic and right out of the box you can start printing and I was printing within 20 minutes of getting this so but uh, since then you learn all about the different settings and filament which is the material you print with and things you can change and modify you're constantly learning about how to get better and better prints um, so I figured why not do some videos um, to try to tell people everything that I've learned and tips and tricks and things to look out for and different filament you can print with. You start with PLA and then you can move into ABS and there's nylon you can print with maybe. I'm not sure if this printer can handle it. I'm going to find out. I contacted um, some filament companies and they sent me some uh, different materials. They're new stuff to print with so we'll see how well it does with this printer. And I'll make a video about modifying it. I, I added a glass bed to print on. Um, I made a, a different arm that the filament can go on and all sorts of different stuff that you can change and get better and better with this very basic printer. Um, I'll do a video about all the tools you need and different things like a glue stick and uh, masking tape and um, with the glass bed and all sorts of stuff to get really good prints. I'll go over all the settings I learned. You learn a lot about settings and tweaking the temperature and the print speed and retraction and all sorts of stuff. There's lots of information out there, but I'll try to give um, good tips on what you really need to know and what, what setting does what and how to, get, how to look at a part and say, okay, I can adjust this setting to get it even smoother and cleaner. Um, I also made this enclosure. Um, I made it out of plywood with insulation and a plexiglass door and I put tool holders on the side and lights on the inside because you're always trying to see with a flashlight this way. I bought a strip LED lighting that I, I have on the inside and a temperature gauge and all sorts of stuff, a dry box on it to keep the filament dry and I'll make another uh, tote dry box to keep all your filament dry because you don't want it wet, that affects it. So all different stuff that I've learned and I'll, I'll try to make videos and try to keep them short and point out things to you. If you're just starting off, which most people are, they're just learning about 3D printing, whether you you already you just bought a 3D printer and you want to learn about it or if you're thinking maybe you want to get into it but you can't afford it or you don't know enough about it. So like I said, I've really enjoyed it. Even though it's a beginner printer, I've been able to print almost everything I've wanted to relative, you know, obviously not as big of size but most parts you print are going to be small and I'll just go over everything I've learned all the settings and specific settings for this printer and specific filament and I'll be reviewing some of the filament that different companies have given me um, and so if, if you're ever thought about getting the 3D printing or if you just bought a printer and you're like oh no now I gotta learn all this stuff I'll, I'll try to be going over and uh, detail on some areas and just giving you some general tips and tricks on how to get the best prints and if you want to build an enclosure if you want to modify this printer like I said which is the most popular printer this year and I'll be trying to give you uh, different tips on what I've learned and different things you have to modify the, the Z spacing and all sorts of stuff so um, I'll have a special channel on my YouTube page and I'll be uploading videos to that um, if you want to follow along I like I said I've really enjoyed 3d printing and uh, Hope you enjoy uh, some of the videos I've been doing.